I don't. I don't see it. Everybody's gone, honey. August, because we have to go to a new one. Okay. Hello, guys. We'll we'll get Hello. back on here in a little Hello. bit. And we'll continue the live. Sorry, we had a interruption. Yes, we did. That's what happens when you're live. There we go. Welcome back. So while you guys get in there, we're going to try some pipes in here. So this is my big barrel pipe. So obviously if something has a big bowl, that may not work. Irregular pipes, that works okay. Let's see, long pipes, that, those work okay. Chubby pipes, those work good. There. So some irregular shapes might be a problem. Some big ones like this might be a problem. Oh, finally, I got it. Let's see some corn cobs. That works very well. Little tiny pipes like this rat trace. Very good. More corn cob. Yeah, that works. Let's see what other types. I'm gonna put up here so they can see the ones that would not work very well. Oh, okay, they're too big. Yeah. Yeah, not everything fits. Um, I think more like a medium size. I thought uh, the smaller ones tend to kind of maybe slide a little bit. This type? But anything corn cob where they have a, a abrasive uh, bottom mm -hmm. works better. Yeah. If they have a very smooth um, so. texture, or not texture, yeah. but you know, if they're smooth out, mm -hmm. very soft, they tend to slide a little bit. So yeah, so I think, if you have pipes, of course, that are a little too big like this one or irregular, That'd it may nice. not work very well. Pipes that are a little long, they still work very well. Mm -hmm. And this is one of the things I like is that you can have a pipe like this or you can have a pipe like this. You know how, see how short that is. Mm -hmm. That's very short. And it still works for this rack. So that's one of the positives for this rack, I will say long pipes and short pipes alike which in some racks that's a problem because if it's too short it just doesn't reach and it just falls off and then the trough is very is, it helps so they don't slide forward but still if they're smooth they might kind of slide yeah. around or if they have a little tiny bowl like this they might yeah. move like that so mm -hmm. but anyway guys just wanted to do that real quick for you guys for the guys that are wondering for the price of 49.99 I think it's a good deal. You can put it on the wall. That's what we're going to do. And if you buy more, the price decreases. So you have to just go to his website and check it out. Okay. Um, is this like, what size is this? The large, extra large, small? No, he only has one. Oh, this is the only yeah. size he and has. And this is the one, one, two, three, four, five, six, 14. seven. Fourteen. Fourteen pipes. Okay. Fourteen pipes in here, guys. All right. If you have any questions, let us know. I'm going to put this to the side. And we're going to try this new tobacco. I, right. I can't wait. So this was sent for our friend Frank Green. And this is supposed to be, this is a mixture that he did in 2015. And he wanted us to review it for him and see what we think. And it's called Plinskin. Plinskin. Frank, are you still in there? Let's see. Everybody's coming back. You, and so we're back from outer space. <laughs> there you go. Frank Green is here. So if you guys have questions about this, you know, maybe Frank can help us. So, All right. So far I know that he has Latakia and he has a raspberry aroma. And I was very excited about that because I always thought that if you could have Latakia, which is a smooth smoke, and combine it with something to take away that stink that some people think you know Latakia smells a little strong that will be a winner so i'm really excited to try this uh Latakia 
with a little bit of raspberry. I don't know if the raspberry was done through infusion through the Cavendish. Frank, mm -hmm. can you tell us, was there, is there any Cavendish in here? Is that how you got the raspberry to infuse? And while he tells us, I'm going to put it in a pipe. Which one are you going to, which one are you going to pick first? Pick a pipe there. I think I'm going to go with this one. Go with this I one. I don't All think right. I've ever, ooh, I better not break oh. that one. All right. Let's try this Do one. I try this? I think this is more, All right. more you. I love this. This is my Stefano Sant'Ambrogio pipe. I really, really like this pipe. So this is the Plinskin. That's the, the, this is the original. The that's the original. Yeah, the 2015. Uh -huh. oh, okay, so that's the one that didn't have some topic, not mm -hmm. topics, but some ingredients, and he had to redo. Is that what it was? Uh, well, let's see what Frank says. Uh, Donald says it's a snake plinskin. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> you know, Donald. <laughs> I, I guess it's a song that is called Snake Plinskin. So, ENA's dad says, I would like to try that. Maybe that will help me like Larakia better. They said that that's exactly Well, nice. I love Larakia, but I see the, the three some people don't like it is because of that smell. And maybe this helps it. Big country, how are you? All right, so Frank says there's a little bit of Cavendish. And I can see it by the dark color. And maybe, you know, that's how we got the, uh, the raspberry part. And Frank Green says that snake plain skin is exactly right. So maybe that's where he got the name from the song. There you go, Donald. Good job. So Clay, what tobacco is this? This is something that uh, someone in the chat there, the one that says F Green 04, he blended this and he wanted us to review it. He's working on this blend. And it's a Latakia blend with a little bit of raspberry aromatic to it. And so he sent it to us and see what we thought. And I can't wait to try it. You have something to light it up? Uh, well, no, I had all my stuff over here, but you, you, want, the, you, you moved them. You want the pretty lighter? <laughs> I want the tamper. Oh, you want the tamper? Oh, here you go. I'll give you a pretty one. So let's try it while people apologize again for whatever happened there with the live. So but we're back on. Let's see, Kurt Russell from Escape from New York and Escape from <laughs> There's some. I like that movie when it So is 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 okay, is Snake Plinskin King a song in the movie Escape from New York? Is this the connection that we're making here? Yeah, because it was a very long time women minute. say uh, Snake Plinskin is the part the part played by Kurt Russell in two different movies. So that's his name was Snake. Oh. Kurt Russell's name was Snake, but I don't know what if that's maybe that's the last name Pl Pliskin. Oh, probably. probably. Pliskin, Snake okay. Pliskin. You never saw that movie? Escape from New no, York? I never seen the movie, so that's why I'm a little lost. Oh, I saw it. That was, but it is really, really old. It's like when Kurt Russell was like maybe in his thirties. Is the movie over? We might have to put a new movie for them. Really? I'll hook you up. <laughs> Which movie you guys want to see in the background? <laughs> Let me go find another. What movie? Vote for a movie. It has to be rated R and below. That's his name. Okay, so Snake Pliskin. I'm guessing Pliskin, is that how you say it? Pliskin. Blazing Saddles, that is a crazy movie for sure. All right. So, while I smoke this a little bit, something that we're going to start doing on every live is at the end, we're going to recommend a movie. We'll call it the movie of the week. We watch around four to seven movies every week. So, we're going to recommend one to you guys every week and see if you like it. Just kind of a little thing that we're just going to start doing, among other things. Hey there, Todd, how are you? I'm glad you dropped by. So far, so good. Let me tamp it down. I love the aroma. Frank, this is, um, that's my favorite part so far. It definitely does not smell like Latakia. It smells like raspberries and I really like that.
So Frank, you try to replicate it, and we have the second one here that you gave me in a plug. This is the new Pliskin. Uh, what is the component that is in the old one, but you couldn't get for the new one before we try that one? Tell us. Oh yes, Clay, for sure. I've been wanting some Meerschaum pipes, so I that's probably what I have the least. So I will love it, I will love it. Uh, I'll take it for sure, Clay. I really appreciate it. You're tired, Steph, what happened? You had a long day at work? I was so big today that when I got home, I, just, I, just, I had to go straight to bed and take a nap before I could go live because I was really, 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 really tired today. Shortcut to mushrooms, huh? What do you mean shortcut to mushrooms? I'm gonna have to hit play. There's something playing. Well, yeah, but it's the um, all the clips of other. All the clips. Hello, Odi. You say <laughs> you highly recommend a movie called Cheap Thrills. Is that for real or are you, are, or are you joking around? You know a movie named Cheap Thr Thrills? Cheap Thrills was a song from Sia. Wouldn't they made a movie? I don't know. Cheap yeah, sometimes I don't know if they're serious or they have joking. Mm. It was an English plan that just for him made called Shortcut to Mushrooms, okay? Somebody's asking, what is your favorite straight Virginia blend? My favorite straight Virginia blend? Well, you know what? It's funny you ask that because we are actually doing some inventory. Um, I'm trying to get organized with all this, all this mess that I have here. Um, so I'm going to have to get back to you on that because I'm going back to see the stuff that I like maybe, uh, two years ago and seeing, you know, if I still like it. And lately I haven't had any straight Virginia blends. Well, that you can I have think found. Of. Yeah. But we, ha I still have three long pages of stuff and I'm still working on your inventory. Yeah. <laughs> There was one that I liked. Let me see if I remember before the live is over that I can tell you that I that I like. Hello, Jeffrey. Hey, Jeffrey. I'm st we still haven't met, so I could so I could get that honey from you. We we gotta meet someday. Says so. Spider says uh, he wants to sell her some Virginia. But I don't know what to buy in store. All right, so here you go, YTPC. A big question here for from Spider7006. What are some good Virginia blends to sell or in store? Thursday. I have never heard of that movie. Thursday. Nope. Never heard of that. I, we haven't seen that one, Odie. Somebody gave me a one, and I couldn't find it. They gave me the, the title, and I looked for it. I couldn't find that. We... In one of our lives. So Big Country Bar says full Virginia flake. That's a good one. Of course, I mean, I know this is one of those that you can find, but we we uh, we had a uh, Christmas year, which is a Virginia, and we really enjoyed it. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's cellar, and that's one that I remember really liking. Um, that is by my clan, and they don't make it anymore, but you can still find it out there. All right. I think my TV went dead. So Frank, so far this is excellent. I don't know. We're gonna try the new version, but very smooth. I like it but a lot. This, if you can recreate it, this is great, Frank. Uh, it's what I like, which is Latakia, which is smooth, silky, no bite at all. 
those on you know those don't get hot it's cool and then you add it whatever it was that raspberry and so it gives it that nice smell so this would be a favorite blend of mine if it existed yeah um you know i have plenty here from what you gave me so i'm definitely going to enjoy it i don't know if you can create more of this stuff this is this is good stuff this is very good i think a lot of people will definitely like it i don't know very flavorful yeah very flavorful in your palate is it's just very flavorful it is not doesn't have a bite it's just like it's very pleasant yeah. and you can smoke it and not have a problem with it and not and not search for something to drink yeah mm -hmm. although i will <laughs> but it's not because it's, it's it's so potent that i cannot tolerate it it's really good yeah so all right so spider they're giving you some suggestions there um they said Rattris Martin Flake, HH Poor Virginia. Oh, that's the one I had. Thank you, Pipe Brazil. Um, that's one I have. And that one I, I've been selling, and that one I like. HH Pure Virginia. Yes. So this is Plain Skin 2015. Yeah. You and, need to make some of this. And thing. Frank says that it, it goes good with that red wine that you have there. So if, we, if this was our popping the tent show. If this was a pop in the oh tent show for this blend, please, please, I wish I knew how to say this. Pliskin. Pliskin. Is that correct? Pliskin. Pliskin 2015 original. I would give it a thumbs up. Would you give it a thumbs up? All right. Absolutely. And if I were to give her stars, I would give this five stars, completely five stars. This is, this is what I'm looking for. Something like you this. You guys are missing out. For yeah. sure. This is very good, guys. So, good job, Frank. Um, make some more of this stuff. You, you, you did awesome. This is this this will be a, my my favorite blend for sure. Bob Ross movie. I haven't seen it. You say it's kind of sad. Big Country Bar. What are some of our favorite movies? Yeah, we're gonna talk about that. So what what I said is that we what we're gonna do is uh, we'll talk about some of our favorites and then every live that we have we are going to give you a recommendation of a movie we saw this week we see about again five to seven week movies a week we love doing that that's kind of a our downtime and um and so we're going to recommend you guys one every time every week The email is in my channel about section. Yeah, it's flatcappiper at aol.com, Clay. Flatcappiper at aol.com. Silence Black is outstanding, Three String Piper says. Well, guess what? Let me show you something. Well, let me let me read this because I'm kind of behind. Um, we, we got a lot of recommendations here. Um, you see, the YTPC is awesome. The YTPC is awesome because we can ask them a question and then you get all these different people with all kinds of experiences, more experience than me um, smoking. We have people that have been smoking about five to 10 years. Some people have been smoking for 40 years. If we get JMC56 in here, he's been smoking for 40 years. So definitely a lot of experience around. So now Seven Piper, his favorite movie is Bloodsport. I used to like those movies too. <laughs> what was that? Bloodsport. You know, that's with Jan Bloodsport. With John Claude Van Damme. Oh dear God. <laughs> but you know what? You saw the, him as an actor. I you saw one movie, like there's all of them. Well, he, he was all he's the not the best actor, but you know, his action of course is kicks and, and his yeah. he, he was it was pretty cool to yeah, see. Yeah, but they that. were all similar. Yeah. All right, so Frank wants to know how the new plain skin compares. So what we're gonna do is on the second half, Frank, we're gonna smoke the other one, okay? We're, we're gonna, I'm gonna enjoy this one a little longer, and then we're gonna hit this one in a little bit, the new, the new one, and see. I noticed that the smell is, is less aromatic. You see? Let me, let me, let me have Lady Fires. Uh, so go ahead and smell that. I one. smell this one. It wasn't that. Oh wow! It's, it's, it's very soft. 
Yeah. But he smells really good. Yeah. And you can also smell the raspberry. Yeah, exactly. So that's what I love. Now on the oh, new wow. version, I don't I don't smell the raspberry as much. See if, if I'm correct. No. So I know that you're missing that on this new one. Of course, we haven't smoked it, so it might be great. But in terms of the tin note, your old one smells just amazing. Yes. And this one, uh, you can smell more of the Larakia. So it might turn some people off that don't like that. It doesn't turn me off because I like the smell of Larakia. All right. Hello, Lexi Piper. Glad to have you with us. I think I'm a little behind here. You want to see mine? Let's see. Uh, I'll go a little bit back. Hello, Mark. I think my going okay. TPI, thanks for doing that GoFundMe page. Again, we said it on the first part of this live that it went away, but go to um, to Mark's page. Hi, Jose. TPI, uh, Tobacco Pipes International. And there's information if you want to participate in the GoFundMe for Padre Piper and the people, um, you know, the community, they're affected by the, hu the hurricane. Uh, let's see. Uh, somebody says that Boswell makes an amazing raspberry cream blend. Yes, that's one out of a ten. Yes, that's one of my favorite um, blends for aromatics. Old Toby and Boswell raspberry cream, and I have it right here. So I I second the motion. Whoever said that, I love Boswell's raspberry cream. Uh, spider. Spider. Yes, I I'm with you a hundred percent. Hello, Jose. He said, Lady Fuego. All right. You guys are saying hi to each other. Go ahead and do that for a little bit. This is Devil's Holiday is the strong raspberry. Yeah, somebody gave me a sample of that, and I haven't mm -hmm. tried it yet. Oh, we must. But I have it. I have it there, and I can't wait. I was going to leave it until the holiday time, but maybe, maybe I should try before then. I know. Roberto says that he's liking old Toby. Good. Sometimes you got to give it some time. Good. Yeah, old Toby is really good. You might need to dry it. Pipe Brazil says the Boswell are the best ar aromatics in the world. I think so. I think, you know, the key there to the aromatic is that they do the topping in a way that is not chemical. And I'm gonna say, this was only our experience. We tried their aromatics from, what was it that we did a bunch of videos on? Solani. And unfortunately, Solani makes some great burlies and all that stuff, but the aromatics, they were, they were not that good. There's a specific one that Dale Piper and another guy from over there across the pond they were joking about as being one of the most terrible ones they have tried. So uh, aromatics are tricky because if you if you have a topping that has a lot of chemical taste, it just comes out bad tasting. Yeah. But Boswell's, they're all being very good. I like them. Yeah, I, I remember seeing that movie. Um, I think it says that he named Big Falcon in Little China, uh, keeping up with the Kurt Russell theme. Yeah. I guess he, he's talking about Big Trouble in Little China. Well. That was the movie. Yeah, so instead of Big Trouble Little China, Big Balkan Little what? This is the other one he sent us. Uh, Big Balkan Little China. All right, so this is. And we haven't tried it this. This is the third one that mm -hmm. Frank sent us. So we have three things here to try. If we don't get to it, Frank, we, we will do it on the next one. We just want to take our time and not rush through them too much. I think he liked the first one so much. He's, he's like, I'm yeah. going to take my time. Sorry, Frank. <laughs> yeah, I'm really going to The first that. one is so good. I don't, I don't want to I, 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 have I anything can, else right now. I can't really say I'm not turning it off. Just yeah, give me a minute. <laughs> yeah. Take it as a compliment. It's really good. So, Brad Report is in the house. Give us an update if you can. Yay! On, on Padre. Um, he said he got off the phone in Padre, so you're going to do something. Okay. You're going to shoot an email to Mark. Okay, so Mark, you can probably do a video and give us an update on how pa Padre is doing. All right. See, we have to see that movie. 
Yeah, now we're going to have to see that movie. I have to see Escape, even though I've seen it like quite a few times. Yeah. So, uh, Jeffrey, if you, if you came late to the party, this is what we're talking about. Frank made this blend called Pliskin and, and send it to us so we could try it. It's an amazing blend of Latakia and Raspberry. It is really good. And we already gave it two thumbs up and five stars. And a sneeze. And no sneeze. <laughs> but we actually love it. He did a great job. He's trying to recreate it, so we're going to try that next, but... Uh, this doesn't have the aromatic component, I see. I mean, it's gonna be it's gonna be very hard to beat this one. Yeah, if you want, we can put this in here. Yeah, if, if you I'll can help it. me with that, so mm -hmm. I can start. I was gonna ask that one. Yeah. All right, thank you, Phil. Uh, thank you. You're gonna give us an update on what's going on with Padre down there in New Orleans. Oh my gosh! All right, so we have we have Brian report. In the house, um, Donald says, Frank, you need a blend called Herb Brooks now. Now, who's Herb Brooks? Is he from that movie too? Maybe he has a girlfriend. No. Named Brooks. Oh, oh. No. No. <laughs> I think that's a guy, Herb Brooks. Just, never mind. Sorry. Okay. But Brooks is a name for a girl. Yes, Jeffrey. It is a, a crossover. Yeah, English aromatic. And we absolutely are loving it thank you clay for coming and yeah send me an email flatcatpiper at aol.com and uh maybe we can trade something yeah if so just send me an email we can talk about maybe something you you want that i can send you all right i'm gonna keep enjoying this and i'm gonna show you guys that today uh we'll do a little bit of a yabo i got some a box from ray 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 is our friend that did the battle of the blends uh, and he sent me every single blend that he sent me i have not tried so i am super excited uh, about him oh there you go kurt russell played herb brooks in the movie miracle oh yeah so but that about maybe football i can't remember so jeffrey name. you're you're mentioning Salem's black well guess what that's one of the ones that he sent me so i am looking forward so i'm gonna share them here with Lady Fire real quick. So, well, actually, I tried this one. I think I tried Missouri Pride. So this is from Red Ray's Diablo. He sent me Missouri Pride. I think I've tried it. I'm not 100%. This one I never tried. Have you guys tried this? Erin Go Bra Irish Whiskey. Has anybody tried this? I just got it from Ray Ray. Hello, Simon. How are you? Hello, Rusty. I wish I could speak a little bit of French to say back to you, but I'm guessing you're saying hello, our friends of the pipe smoking. I think that's that's what it translates to. Well, uh, somebody's talking about anybody likes the Mad Max series. I don't know about this series, but. Uh, one of the actresses from one of the movies that I want to talk about is in, in Mad Max. I think uh -huh. it's the, the last one. Yeah, and Kurt Russell is in Tombstone, one of my favorite movies. Yeah. So definitely. Oh, oh my gosh, I was watching a little bit of Val. He made a documentary or a biography, or whatever, uh -huh. but he taped his whole life. You should see him now. Oh, how wow. bad. Do you no, know? No, but. He had, I guess he had thyroid like I do oh Bad really Val Kilmer oh and wow and he had cancer and now he's he speaks he had cancer and they removed it and now he speaks with one of those things oh no yeah well, so I have sad. to see the whole thing I that's know. one of my favorite characters Doc Holly days Holly. so anyway so Aaron Brown Grohl let me know if anybody has tried that um, um he also sent me uh Peter Stokovic 316 Sambuca if anybody has tried that let me know I've never tried it uh, let's see what this smells like. Here's. Bye, bye, Clay. We'll see you next week. Thank you, Clay. Smell the sambuca. Tell me what you think. Mm -hmm. Here it is, Jeffrey. Salem or Silen's Black. He sent me a, a <laughs> healthy portion of this, so I, I got plenty here to try. You know, the first whiff that I got out of this, I smell coconut. Coconut, all right. <laughs> like coconut. So that's the Peter Stoppy 316. This is what... um. Jeffrey's saying that we need to try. 
See what that smells like to you. Which one? Salem's Black. Salem's Black. Salem's. Oh, Salem's. Salem's. Yeah. They come in some really beautiful um, packaging. Mm. And then he also sent me Edward G. Robinson. Never have tried it. So I have some new stuff here to try. Thanks, Ray Ray. Really, really appreciate it. I like trying new stuff. It smells a little bit like campfire, but not too strong. It's just like a little hint. Master Blaster would be a good blend name. Well, I I, ah. I remember playing that game. Master Blaster. You know Master Blaster was from Mad Max? Oh, really? Yeah, when Tina Turner was in, in uh, Mad Max, I think it was, that she would call him Master Blaster. It was a huge guy with a little oh, small really? guy. Oh, really? Well, the only thing I knew Master Blaster was from the old video game. <laughs> oh, my God. So, I didn't know it was <laughs> okay. part of the movie. But yeah, I agree. It would be a, a good tobacco name for sure. We need to get you something bigger than those shoes. Yeah, my shoes are not going. Your shoes I, are falling. They're supposed to be like this, but I don't like it. So yeah, Simon, we're having uh, we're having some fun here with some blends and um, a custom blend that we just tried, Latakia Raspberry, which was amazing. We're still having some of it. Simon Green, you have you do you, have you tried that? So Silent Black, he said that it re that? reminds him of the shampoo aisle in Walmart. The green one, I don't know who asked it, but I haven't tried the green one. We have the blue one. I have tried Silent Blue. I haven't tried the green, the green or the red. All right, bye Simon. Thank you. Thank you for stopping by. Edward is asking about if you had Edward G. Jeffrey. Sorry, Jeffrey's asking if I you... keep hearing about Edward G, G, but have not tried that yet. Yeah, this is the one that I'm just showing them. Oh, okay. Yeah, that Ray Ray sent me, and okay. we haven't tried it, so we have no idea. Do you smell this one? See what it is? I think I did. I think I, I, think There's I did. There's not much of a smell to it, so. but we're going to try them all. That's for sure. So, and it says that he's your huckleberry. <laughs> <laughs> That's not the favorite thing. I just see the whole movie just to hear him say that. Yeah, yeah. And then you rewind it. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see it again. And then, you know, you find out uh, th through the, you know, people that I think they've done the research, I think Val can say this himself, that he didn't really say, I'm your huckleberry. He actually said, I'm your huckleberry, which means, you know, the one that bears the thing for the, for the people that take him when they're dead. Are you serious? Yeah. But because it sounded like huckleberry... <laughs> It's stained. It's stay like huckleberry, and, oh. and I think it's more cool the huckleberry than your I huckleberry. Know. Yeah, so. But it's supposed to be, I'm your huckleberry. Um, I think huckleberry sounds cooler. Cooler, for sure. that's yeah. right. All right, uh, you made a video. Okay, Pipe Brazil made a video about some of the silence, so check him out. Yeah, yeah, that's true. He was saying the Master Blaster runs Barter Town. Yeah, oh. It was. Barter Town was. It was his terrible place. We're going to have to write some of these movies down. So no, I know can... this movie. Oh, you, you know this movie? Of course. Thank you, Lakeside Piper. Have a good night. Have, thanks you for coming by, Rusty for Golden. sure. Oh, don't go at all. Rusty Golden. I'm not sure. All right. So we have... Oh, let's see. okay. We have a few people talking here. I'll just follow along. All right. Well, this is okay. Ohio Piper, how are you? I miss you. I'm guessing you didn't make it to the Ohio Pipe Show. We were there, but we didn't see you. I'm sorry if you couldn't make it. We went on vacation somewhere else. Uh, maybe you, 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 you uh, didn't have a way of getting there, but maybe next year. If we go, um, we'd love to see you there. If you can make it, of course. But thanks for coming and saying hi. I know you're on late, late at night. Usually when you're on, I'm already in bed. <laughs> Yeah, Ohio Piper has some has some midnight. Oh, you want me to show. put some of the Yeah, the let's ones? do the let's start breaking out that one. All right. I'm gonna keep smoking. Well, this, this one is one a little, little bit harder. This is like a cake. Yeah. The other one was I, I broke it down. Oh yeah. you did it. Yeah. Okay. So I we'll keep that one as a cake and then we'll break that one. I think that'll be enough for us to, oh, yeah. to smoke. So Big Country Bar says nine six five is one of his favorite. Well, if any of you want to 
try your hand at blending. Blend something with Latakia and raspberry and you'll get this, which is wonderful. This is enough, right? I was thinking of blending my one of my two favorite blends and see what happens. What do you guys think if I blend Old Toby with uh, Frog Morton Cellar? You think that will come out pretty good? They're my favorite blends. I think it will come out pretty good. WKR Piper says that he's definitely going to be to Ohio show next week. Hopefully Chicago. Yeah, we're going to try to prioritize Chicago next year since we, you know, they didn't have it. And then we'll see Ohio. But this time, Odie, we, get, we have to see you because we kept missing you. He was there and we kept missing him. Oh, boy. Yeah. Well, that have, there was a lot of people there, though. Hey, Steve. Smoking cardboards in the house. And it was an all day thing also. It wasn't like from four to six or something like that. So it was almost all day. Yeah. So it was hard for you to see everybody. We, we had to pace ourselves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we were partying too much. Well, we took the whole morning first to, to videotape. So that was a two hour or, or, ordeal. So we really. And even we were going out also. And. Mm -hmm. All right, so Frank says that if I do the Frog Morton with Frog Morton Cellar, that's the one that I would use, not the original one, the Cellar one, so it wouldn't be as strong, that I should do um, 70 to 30 so that Frog Morton does not overpower old towing. Oh boy, this is so good, guys. Frank, if I don't get to your second one, I'm sorry. I, this is just really good. This is how I like them. No bite. Smooth. All right, this one. A little bit of a nice smell. A lot of smoke. Doesn't get hot. I couldn't ask for anything better. Great. Great job. Cold brew tea this week. All right, Steve. I love tea. So they're gonna make a Boswell's run. So that's in uh, New York, right? I mm -hmm. would love to go to Boswell's one day. They put out a pipe every Monday and the, some of the pipes they put out, you know, two days ago, they were just gorgeous, gorgeous. I had to contain myself, but they were really nice. I have one Boswell pipe, but it's a small one. I haven't bought any of the big ones that they have that the jumbo ones have you got you guys have bustle pipes any of you out there has have ever bought a bustle pipe oh you go bustles is in pennsylvania close to the bearded welshman okay there you go pennsylvania so we gotta go even a little a little higher. So that's a trip for you guys from, um, if you guys are in, wait a second, where, where was you guys in North Carolina? Virgi oh, West Virginia, right? That's where, that's where Brian is in West Virginia, so. And Steve is in Wisconsin, so that will be really far for you. Steve, I got to visit you when I take my son one day to the... He wants to go to a Packers game in, <coughs> in Wisconsin. So if I ever make that trip, I'm going to let you know. Maybe I'll drop by and say hi. So big countries in West Virginia, beans... It's in West Virginia, so we have quite a quite a quite a few there. Customs in Brazil is horrible. Now I've seen some, some pipes there in Brazil from Brazil. They make beautiful pipes. And I'm sure you know it's it's the same for us to have to buy them from there, send here. Don't they call them cachimbos? 
um, the pipes there in Brazil, cachimbos. I think that's what I see, cachimbos. Maybe I'm saying it wrong, but Pipe Brazil will confirm or not confirm. That's what they, that's what they call them. All right. Are you enjoying it? Which one are you trying? Is this the new one? That's the new one. Okay. I know you don't want to give that up, no. but we're supposed to move along. <laughs> okay. All right. You can have this one there then. So this is the new. Please scan. All right. Is it going already? Mm -hmm. All right. So the new one definitely already from the puff. I can smell the Latakia. It's more Latakia, least prominent. So there you guys have the Brad report. He's given the update. Thank you, Phil, for Padre Piper. He's doing fine, very tired. You know, he's been up a couple of days and um, trying to get things back to normal. Is he, is he going to be able to go back to his house or, or, or not yet? Are they letting people go back to their house? I know that the power is out and wow. they said the power might be out for maybe a few more days. That is tough. That is tough. There you go, Cachimbo. So he confirmed. That's it. I was right. Cachimbos. Pipes in Brazil. Cachimbos. My turn off. All right, Frank. So this one's good in terms of the silkiness. Of course, I prefer your original because of that little raspberry aroma and taste. Yeah, it's uh, smooth still. This yeah. one has a little, it's a little bit, um, rough edges. Yes. Okay. Just a little bit. It's very pleasant, but if I would have had this one first, maybe I would have not that big comparison to the other. Mm -hmm. It is good, mm -hmm. but the other one is slightly better. Wait a second. Big country bride. You were there too. And you didn't see us at the Ohio show either. I, I guess we missed more people than we thought. I know. Somebody's asking if, wait a minute, if you're going to Richmond, maybe. I. Well, we're, we're going to try to go to Richmond. As, as soon as it's official, we'll, we'll announce it. I just have to confirm from my work. And if, if it's good, then we'll be in Richmond and we'll do it. We'll do it live and do it all over again. Well, Smoky Carbor says that this, my first show will probably be the next Chicago show. Well, good. That'd be awesome. It that's a big really, one. Yes. The one in Ohio was wonderful. So I'm not sure. I've never been there to Chicago. So I'm looking forward to that. So Frank, so according to Lady Fire, she's already saying, you know, this one feels a little more rough, the edges mm -hmm. compared to your original one. And, uh, and I, I say the same thing. Yeah. Uh, the first one is smoother. Yeah. This and it one. has that little beautiful flavor, this mm -hmm. lingers. This one is stronger for some yeah. reason. So this one feels stronger and it does not have that, oh man, that little raspberry mm -hmm. thing just makes a difference for me. Oh, yeah. Of course, I'm sure somebody would just like it the way it is. Yes. They Like this. But for me, I'd rather have the one with a little bit of a, of a raspberry to it. And it's light enough that it does not, you know, does not take away from the tobacco. All right, thanks, Phil, for your for your for your update there. We'll, we'll keep praying for him, and we'll go to the site and see how we can help with the GoFundMe. So, for you guys don't know, they started GoFundMe for Padre Piper in the community, and hopefully, we'll get more from Mark at TPI. And uh, just just um, if you are not subscribed to Tobacco Pipes International, just like that, Tobacco Pipes International. Go to the side, give him a subscription. He's, Mark is a great guy, and uh, he cares about the community, and he, um, he started a GoFundMe page for, for Padres. So definitely show your support, or at least, you know, say that you're praying for them, and, uh, you know, that would be, that'd be nice to hear.
Yeah, there were a couple of guys that were the rebels at the pipe show. They were smoking a cigar outside. And um, at least the ones that I saw, uh, you know, first I saw it was a vendor. And then, of course, it was Brian and, and uh, what's his name? Smoking Fireman. But he, he, he brought some Cuban cigars for them. So, you know, of course, they were having some good stuff out there. Thank you, Piper Seal. Yeah, uh, it, it, it was definitely a little bit of work, but we were glad that so many people enjoyed it. And if we go to Richmond, we'll do it again. We'll, we'll spend that first time. And, and that was our first experience. So I'm pretty sure that next, I was a little bit nervous at the beginning. There were so many people there. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm like, how are we going to do this with all these people, you know, and interrupting them? So uh, we were trying to take a little bit of their time and ask them some questions, but didn't, we didn't want to take too much time to take away from their sales yeah. either. So you have to be kind of conscious about that. But one thing that surprised us, I mean, or, or I guess it was a good thing, is that every single person that we interview, every single person that we put the camera, um, they were very nice. And they actually did not mind at all. Uh, there was a, one that said he was camera shy, but he mm -hmm. still went on and talked mm -hmm. to us. and. So, you know, it was a good experience that nobody said, hey, don't tape us. Everybody, yeah. everybody was very open. It was the opposite. Yeah. They wanted to be taped. Yeah, there was, some, <laughs> there was a particular person. <laughs> Just true. I'll tell you this story. Um, particular person that the next day when we were sitting at breakfast, he came to us and said, hey, he, was, he seemed like he was a little upset. He said, you guys didn't come to my table and you did not tape me. You know, what happened, you know? And so... <laughs> and we were trying to eat. We, we felt kind of bad. Oh, okay. But, but uh, he admitted that when we went by his table, it yeah, was really full. Yeah, it was full. busy. It was really full, so I, we couldn't... I mean, we couldn't tell people to move away, so... But he noticed that we didn't go to his table and tape this, so... Uh, definitely, you know, some people took notice of that. Yeah. <laughs> we better be more mindful next time. Well, yes, thank you, Piper. So that's what we try to make it. We try to go one by one just so that you feel like you were there. And we stop. And if somebody say hi, like Eric, you know, we talk to them. And, you know, just like we would if, if we were not filming. So that's the experience we wanted to kind of create. And yeah. hopefully we can do it again. And we I can think do it would have job. been better uh, if we tape what like we wanted the second time when we were all outside at the pool, but there was no light. But you did everything yeah. in your power to get yeah. the, uh, get them to go. Yeah, at night. You guys, who did you get? Some guy. I went. Fix this light. I went to the manager. <laughs> I went to the. That's funny. I'm to like, the, he's not with me. I went to the some guy that spoke <laughs> in Spanish. I tried to bribe everybody I could to turn on the lights <laughs> out there because I wanted to record at night when we were smoking and. Uh, no, the, the breaker was gone and they didn't have the money to fix it. So we, there was no light. So no, I, I, it was a, a, a whole thing that it was just, they were waiting on it. They yeah, can't do it. I could not, I could not bribe anybody to bring light at night so that I could tape everybody smoking and talking and all yeah. that. So. so they went in the dark and then we went outside <laughs> and then it's raining maybe and it was be, like, dear Lord. <laughs> maybe it will be different in Richmond. Now in Richmond, the, the show is not happening in the actual hotel. The show is going to happen oh. in in a Sutliff factory and then you know the hotel that provides a shuttle bus there um, you know is, is so it's gonna be a different experience so I don't know how it's gonna work oh I have a question so we're talking about we might have to find somebody's house to go at night and crash and we'll crash and and, and, and do a video <laughs> go ahead what's your when question sleeping bag. I what's, forgot <laughs> all right I'll, I'll, I'll. oh wait wait do do people get a discount when they go to the hotel, then they have a, like a big package with a. Yeah. They yeah. do. Yeah. So now you know. Yeah. So go. for the for the Ohio one, I booked it early and I got a discount. It was good. It was almost like thirty dollars a night discount. It was oh, a good discount. Oh, that's not bad. And so for this one, which is going to be at the Omni Hotel, we haven't booked it, so I have to see. I, I, I probably need to well, do it soon. What if they cancel it? Then I don't know. I don't know how it works for the refund, but we probably have to do that. Oh, door. Yeah, that thirteen-year-old kid. Um, yeah, that was doing the pipes. Yeah, he was, and at the end, he was just trying to sell them all. Like he, he said, "Hey, you can oh. have them all for 200 And I, I almost, I almost bought he it was because very sweet. The, very he sweet. was sweet, and, and the pipes looked really good. Again, 
you know. I now, he will be one to look forward in a few years yeah. from now because he, yeah. yeah, he, he was good. He, does, he, for his age, I think he did amazing work. I was shocked. Yeah. Did uh, any hillbilly, any of you bought any pipes from him? The, he was selling them at the end pretty cheap. <laughs> the beach. <laughs> so <laughs> we so, were some of them. <laughs> so big country buyer, what 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 happened? What how come we didn't get to meet you? I'm sorry if, if you were close and I just didn't see you or um but definitely we will look for you next time. Alright, so Frank, definitely the first one, like it way better than the second one. Uh, the, the second one will be between probably three or four stars for me. It's actually not bad at all. No. But not as good as the original, the original one that, oh, that yeah. you made. It was... After, it was so hard to beat. After having that, it's hard to have any have another yeah. one because I like it. Where is it? Let me get it some more. <laughs> <laughs> You're so greedy. All right. So what else do we have in store today? Okay. We're, we were going to talk about the uh, Ohio game. Yes. On Thursday. Tomorrow. So guys, we have a few things here. Let's see, we have about 20 minutes left. So one of the things we want to talk with Only you guys, 29. how many we have here? We have about 29 people. 29 people. All right, so you guys We need to speed it up. Hello, medic man. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for being a fan. Appreciate it. So we have some of the faithful here and we want to ask you, we're still trying to find uh, a time that uh, that works for you guys and us a time and a day so what i'm going to do is in the community post i'm going to put a little poll to tell you guys about a few days and time and see if later works better for you guys or earlier works better um, or is this time good or is this time good and if this time is perfect then we you know we stay at this time yes. we definitely want to see you know what works for you we notice sometimes, you know, uh, it might be the same day, same time, and um, we might have not not a good showing. Especially on Mondays, sometimes we just don't have a good Mondays showing. Mondays are slow. And Mondays are tough. So we're trying to find that, and we're also trying to see how many of you are interested in something like a um, uh, game day. Uh, so on Saturday mornings, for uh, us to do a little bit of football, talking football. about... You know, what are the games that are happening on the weekend? And we'll just smoke a pipe and talk a little bit about college football and NFL. And uh, I know that's not the cup of tea of everybody, but you can always join in and, and have a pipe with us if you don't care about football. Boris already voted. It's just the 7 o'clock is fun. Time is great for Boris. And, but Boris is at every single live, no matter what time. He is, he's, the, he's the faithful. Boris is at all the lives. He's well, great. Well, that's awesome. We appreciate that. He does that. not care. We appreciate that, Boris, that you are <laughs> in Finland. He was an equal opportunity. Talk. Equal opportunity uh, person that, that supports everybody. So, tailgating, yeah, like Donald does, like a tailgating for the college. I love college football, and every morning on Saturdays, I'm all, I'm all riled up for football. So, maybe I can do something early, early, uh, not super early. But uh, have a pipe and talk with you guys. If you guys like something like that, we definitely can can start that. See if we are not a well. I am a devoted. I'm not. I'm not a football. I was not last year. Uh huh. Until I met you. Oh yeah. <laughs> no. 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 That, now it, that is like an activity. <laughs> it must happen. This family is insane. That we have outfits, shoes, nails. Oh yeah, we, we gotta show I, you that. We had to, I have my nails, my toenails. I grabbed my husband and said, I'm gonna fix your nails. He didn't know and I'm color all his toes. Oh boy. Because what gators with gator fans. So let me go to the camera. Oh, I got excited. And, and I'm gonna show um so I graduated from the University of How Florida. How are you going to so show them? I'm gonna put the camera closer so you can show your nails. Oh my nails. Oh yeah. okay. No, I'm not showing my nails. You should, sh you should show your toenails. No. I did a fabulous job. All right, let's yes, see. Yes, I did. Look. So we're ready for the Gator game we're this ready. Saturday. This Saturday. We got tickets. Oh, you got it too close. Well, that's okay. You can leave it there. Is it too close? No, that's okay. It's, it's good now. It's, it's good. All right, good. It was good. a little far. All right, let's see. 
If only someone will tell it, I'll be there. What is your favorite football team? I was, we already so we it. have we have of course Steve is in Wisconsin, so he's for the Packers. So that's my son. Uh, he'll be dressed up with Packers, and he's rooting for the Packers. So for sure. Um, and Vikings, Boris, you go for the Vikings for the Minnesota Vikings. F Green says Ohio State Buckeye for life. All right, so Ohio. We State, love Ohio now. He plays tomorrow. We're so. gonna see it. We're gonna go. We're going to go to a place to we're see gonna go. it tomorrow. He says, we're going to see it at the house. And I said, no, 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 no. We're he already to... got me used to going to <laughs> the, what are the restaurants? What is it called? Sports bar or a something. A sports bar. And there's a pretty nice one here called, is it Duffy's? Duffy's, I not think it's Duffy's. Daffy's. Duffy's. No, not Daffy's, Duffy's. Duffy's, real close by. And I said, that's where we're going to go. We're going to have a great time there. And we have Medic Man. He likes the Eagles. So All right. A lot of NFL. We, well, actually, we have a little bit of both. So. Yeah, Buckeyes plays tomorrow, so you, you guys, um, oh, really? I hope you're excited about that. I'm excited. It's almost to me like the first top 25 game of the season, so I'm looking forward to it. So we have some Viking fans. We have Marshall fans. Marshall okay. fans. All right. Oh, so, you <laughs> so Steve, your wife is a Vikings fan and you're a, a uh, Packers fan. That should be interesting. I love those games because of the color contrast. You have the purple and the green, uh, yellow. I love it. I, I love those games. They, you, they just look really neat. You cannot uh -huh. be a fan because of the colors of the outfit. Oh yeah, I do. You are. I am. <laughs> okay. I like the I like the Steelers because of their yellow and. Black. I hate it when they wear similar colors because then I don't know who yeah, that is. Who? No. So. <laughs> Did I, we win? Did I'm, we score? <laughs> Other than, other than the university, <laughs> oh my God. of course, I'm going to root for where I graduated from, the Gators. When it comes to NFL, I go with, with team colors. That's why, that's why if they have a cool uniform. Okay, so <laughs> I, well, I will go like this. I say, if you don't do your nails, I'm not rooting for you. You <laughs> can't do that. So, uh, Patrick. Hello, Patrick. How are you? What happened with Pipe Brazil? Oh, he's a Dallas Cowboys fan. Oh, Ooh, boy. So, you know, ass. the Dallas Cowboys, you either love him or hate him. That's, that's for sure. <laughs> oh, awesome. Uh, Phil says, if my wife tried to mess with my toenails, I throw it off out the window. Well, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> that you... Are you sensitive to your to your to your feet? Is I, that is that I it? did a good job. She did a good job, guys. Um, do you see how her nails are? Let's show show them again. Well, I did show them. So that's how my toes are right now. But I'm not gonna show you. <laughs> but she did my toes. So I did. I'm ready for the game with toenails and everything. So I'm I'm I'm. Uh, I was showing you I'm some. All out. I was showing you some team spirit. Yeah, I, I got team spirit for sure. There you go. New York City is, is raining. Yes, it's raining. I I saw Maryland, uh, Pittsburgh. Uh, they had some flooding, so that that hur uh, hurricane just kind of really, really you know created a big mess up there. What what? And there's uh, another one developing. What category was it? I don't know if it was a four or five when it hit, but then it, as it goes up. Well, it, 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 once it ha it has it impact, it land, loses it, some. Yeah, but then power. it just brought a lot of rain, a yeah. lot of rain, a lot of rain. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So, all One right. One thing I wanted to talk about was their movie segment. Yeah. So, like we said, we're going to recommend a movie yeah. every live. And two days, this week's uh, movie of the week is, here you go. Gringo. Gringo, okay. Gringo. All right. Tell it them about is, Gringo. It's an awesome movie. Where can um, they see it? I think they can only see it in Amazon, Amazon Prime. Prime, or they might or be able to get a, a red box. Rent it, yeah. Uh, and it was done in 2018 and I was like, I, I like to watch the clips and see uh, who the actors are. One thing I wanted to tell you is, is a rated R has one adult scene. So you know what I mean? Wink, wink. It's short. So it is very short, but if you have children, you should be mindful. So like I said, it's rated R. Uh, and the cast was uh, David Oyelowo. I have never heard of this guy. And he actually was in a United Kingdom, The Butler and Selma. 
And then you got Joel Edgerton, and he was in The Gift, Warrior, and The Thing. Somebody in, in our life were talking about The Thing. Uh, so he was on the second one, not the original one. The thing uh, that was done originally with Kurt Russell was back in 1982. The second one was in 2011. That's where uh, Joel Edgerton was. And I think he was uh, the, one of the big characters there. Uh, also, we have Charlie Theron. This is uh, a 2018 movie? Uh, this, is a, this one is a 2018 movie. Okay. Yeah, it's only two years old. And actually, it was Amazon who made, I think they're the ones who made the movie. Okay. So they're doing their own stuff, and it's, yeah. it's good stuff. And then you have Charlize Ter Theron. You know who she is. It's a beautiful lady. Uh, she was in Monster. I think she won an Oscar for Monster. And um, she actually was born in Africa. Can you believe it? Really? Like She was born in Africa. For probably, uh, what do they call that, South Africa? I'm not sure, yeah. but it was Africa. Okay. <laughs> and then she did Atomic Blonde. And she also did Mad Max number two. Oh. She was in there. I didn't know yeah. that. Uh, she's, she's good. She's okay. badass. Oh, am I supposed to say that? Yeah, you can say <laughs> <Sorry>. this. Sorry. <laughs> she's really good. And then this this name, I cannot say it to save my life. Todine, Todine Newton. She was in 2012. That's the, uh, that movie about the ending of the world. Okay. That's I didn't 2012. See that one. Mission Impossible 2. And the pursuit of happiness with Will Smith. All right, so, so that's the, the cast. This this cast is the ladies were very. You, you will know them. Yeah. You know the the guys not so much, especially, especially David. Yeah. And this is a dark comedy mixed with a white knuckle action and dramatic intrigue. Explores the battle of survival. There you go. Uh, for businessmen, Harold, which is uh, da David Oyelowo. Uh, Oye uh, is his name is Harold Soyinka. That's who he's playing, and he finds himself a uh, crossing line from law-abiding citizen to a wanted criminal. And it's, it's, it's I was not expecting it to be so funny. He yeah. was on it, point. It is an action-packed movie, but with some comedy that it just comes know, out naturally. I don't know if they meant for him to be funny. But he was funny. He was funny. But for it sure. was hilarious. Yeah, yeah. And but it was full of action, and he just kept you. Watch it. Yeah. Even mm -hmm. if you were tired, forget about it. Yeah. You were just really going to see this movie, whether you were, you know, you drink coffee, but you want to finish it. Um, so one thing that I want to say, I don't know if Nathan is here or not, but let my camera go. I let my camera go. It. If you're not there, but if you see us later, you want to find out how your old pal Alan Brock and Alan Brock is Cameron. Oh, yeah. Uh, from they met Cameron, Cameron with, yeah, from uh, Ferris Bueller. Ferris Bueller is so in that movie, yeah. Yeah, so he shows up maybe two or three times in it. Uh, he has gotten very, oh, totally different. You will see the difference. Yeah, You're it's like, hard to oh see that my him. gosh. Yeah, very different. And so that's that. And I wanted to ask you, what kind of snacks do you like to eat while you're watching? Other than popcorn. Other than popcorn. This is killing my teeth. I know, that is everywhere. It's just <laughs> hard to get it out. I know, I know. Hard. So... There you go. So what we'll, we'll every every week we'll do this. Uh, we might have one or two sometimes. Um, we just wanted to give you a quick one this week. We really enjoy that one. There's actually quite a few in Amazon Prime that are really good. If you have one that you recommend, go ahead and shoot it there. We want to see it uh, because we love watching movies. And oh, Patrick says that she's from South Africa, so you were yes, correct. Yes, uh uh-huh. So uh, we, of course, we like movies that have some kind of action. We, we like all genres. Uh, genre. The genre. The only thing that Lady Fire does not like is if they are kind of your chick flicks. She's not into any of those. So, yeah, I probably won't get to well, see. Well, somebody likes a white cheddar. But it says uh, she's, she says she it's. White cheddar. I just like the real cheddar. <laughs> I love the bruschetta. That's like my favorite thing. Actually, you know, oh, now that you're talking God. about, there's something that you made. And, and, you know, for you guys that haven't seen the things that we did at the beginning, calling uh, cooking with flat cap and lady fire, we did something called the ring. Oh, that's good, too. That is a very good snack. Yeah. Now that you're going to start getting into football season. Yeah. Check it sure. out. It's very easy to make. And, oh, my God, if you guys make it, you, it's going to be gone, first of all, really fast. But then... You're gonna to want to make it again after yeah. you make it. So. I think that I have made it several times. That they will eat it for breakfast. They eat yeah. it for whatever. It's yeah. just gone. We just we just eat it as many times as we can because it's so good. My kids now, you know, at the beginning they kind of would ask her, just hey, you know, can you make that ring thing? 
So they <laughs> football season is on, so we might we Where's might the make ring? the ring again. Yeah. You wanted to do some shout outs. Yeah, let's do a few shout outs. Yes, so yes, let's. I want to shout out a few of the you know um, uh, newer channels and some goals going on. And again, I'm not I don't know all of them, but for sure, we have a giveaway going by Cat That Piper, uh, our friend Cosmo. If you haven't checked out his channel, Cat That Piper, uh, he's doing his hundred giveaway. Yes. We have another one by our friend James Burrow. James Burrow, just like that. Um, how do you spell the last name? B Burrows. B U R R O W S. B U R R W S. He's doing another giveaway for his hundred. For his his hundred. Mm -hmm. He's already about hundred and fifty. And his is about food from your. Yeah, uh, you know, you check it out. But it's about um, you know what's the favorite. You know what is your local place known for what food. So those are two uh, giveaways going on right now for you guys to check out. Uh, another one is Parsimonious Piper. His yeah. is super fun. It's about telling two truths and a lie. We did some videos about it. She did one in her channel. I, I did one in mine. Fun. And everybody's doing their videos. So check out Parsimonious Piper. And the fourth one we had here who was um, uh, Lone, Lone Wolf. Wolf. Lone, like Lone Alone, Lone Wolf Piper. Lone Wolf. He's about to do his first introduction video. Now, so we don't know if he has done it yet or not, I'll, but he was work, He was in the work. It's going to be soon. So and we welcome him to the YTPC. Yeah, welcome him to the YTPC, because. Lone Wolf Piper. So another thing we want to do here on the lives is do a few shout outs, try to find out who's doing what. If we can catch the goals, we'll announce them uh, just to give you guys something to look forward to when you come and see us. So. Pipe Bra Brazil says there's a movie that is a feel people saw. Fiel people saw? Le Pacte des Loops. An Le awesome, a awesome movie. So a foreign we'll movie. Okay. It's a foreign movie. Okay, what we, is it about though? We like give foreign a, movies. Give, give us a little. Give us a, is it a suspense? Is it a action? Give us something about it. Is it a thriller? Is it a horror? All right, we gotta write drama. it because if not, I'm gonna have to take, I don't have anything to take a picture here. So. Okay. No. Le pack does loop. Is that like the pack? What does that mean? Is, is that it looks like French? Le pack de loop. Is the pack of the? I don't know what loops is though. He'll tell us. Tell us there, and we can we can see. We we'll watch it and we we'll see if we like it. Actually, we'll give you. Should we give him one more? Since you mentioned a foreign movie. The tunnel. Oh my God! Yeah. Yeah, we just saw. So we'll give you an extra one. I was like, you know what? Let me put this movie on. Uh, I it, it is foreign. It it's, probably is not great. I'm on a do dose. It's from Norway, but it's all dubbed in English. I'm sure you can get the original yeah, if, is, if you speak is. Norwegian. But all it's, suspense. It's called the tunnel. That is that is. It's called the tunnel. And it was it was very good. Also yeah. in uh -huh. Amazon Prime, I think. Amazon Prime, yeah. It was in Amazon Prime. We'll have to kind of mix it up with Netflix, Amazon Prime, Hulu, and what else we have? What do you guys have? Uh, most people here, tell me, do you have Netflix? Somebody says Wolf Pack. I guess it's about Wolf, right? Yeah, he says it's, it's, a, be. it's a suspense, yeah. No, 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 there's another one. Um, Pie Brazil says Wolf Pack. Well, it's because pack, pack, maybe, maybe that pack that he's talking about it has to do with the wolf pack. The pack. Oh, yeah, maybe that's it. That's what he means. And it's a suspense. Sorry. I so, know. There's another movie. Let's write it down. <laughs> so tell us real quick what you guys have um, Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime. What's the other one that we watch movies in? Hulu, Disney. Amazon Prime. Disney Plus. Disney Plus. <laughs> what do you got? Uh, what do you guys have? Because we want to recommend movies of. Things that you can actually have access to. Oh, Patrick is gonna. Ha I have Netflix this end. All right, perfect, perfect. So we'll look for some. Cheap Thrills is on Hulu now. Cheap right. Thrills. So oh, write that one down. I Cheap, write this one down. Cheap Thrills. I I'm guessing it's scary, right? I don't Cheap know. Thrills. It might be cheaply scary. Cheap Thrills. I like scary. <laughs> I like it. Amazon Prime. Somebody, perfect. Somebody asked me one of some of my favorite movies, and I have so many. Uh, but I have to say, I already did one. It was um, so look. Yes, my love. So this is the the, the translation. The pack the loop means the pack of wolves because ah, loop is wolf. I was thinking it's a pack, but yeah. I didn't know what it was. It's a pack. 
Odie has them all, just like us. Oh, we, Tubby. We have them all. One, because we can get a bunch of them for free with Verizon. And two, because we do like movies. So. Okay, two, Tubi, uh, Tubi. Tubi, is, Tubi a is a good place to watch movies as well. I'm more of a book guy, but you watch movies too, yeah. So we'll, we'll do a little bit of each. So movies, uh, we got a few there to watch. And we'll try to kind of mix it up between Amazon Prime, Netflix, and Hulu. Yeah, I have and, a list. And yeah, we actually have a list. I have list. a list we, that we, I'm like, mm -mm, We're not going to tell them all today, but we, we gave you two today. So Gringo and The Tunnel. Um, and they're both good. And both Very good. I, I prefer Gringo, though. Gringo has more that action. That was for me is more action, but yeah. yeah, it's more fun. It's more action. Tunnel's a little slower, but it's, it's still very, very interesting. Of, you know, something that can happen, of course. While going through a tunnel in a snowstorm. <laughs> All right. So what else? Did we, did we cover everything we wanted to cover? I think we covered everything. The only thing that I wanted to remind them is about popping the tin uh, on Mondays, okay. 6 p.m. Eastern Time, 3 p.m. Pacific, 11 p.m. London Time. And on Wednesday, uh, Wednesday Live, 7 p.m. Eastern Time, 4 p.m. Pacific, and 12 or midnight in London. Um, we wanted to talk about uh, our name for oh, Wednesday. Guys, for you faithful that are still left here and haven't left to the Nashville many, Mafia. Many, or, many is watching the TV. <laughs> and somebody's watching the movie in the TV. I'll bring you some popcorn in a second. All right. We're going to run a little contest. We don't know how long it's going to go for, but we're looking miracle. for... Miracle. Okay, miracle. We're looking for a nice name for our lives. Again, our lives now are on Wednesday. It might change. We're looking for the time and day that you guys like the most. We're going to do a little poll in the community area of the YouTube and see what you guys think. But we're looking for a name. And if you guys can contribute a name for the for to call our lives and we pick your name, we will send you some goodies. We'll send you some a prize of things uh, that we will kind of put together. It's going to be a surprise spot. Any names is fine. If you want to just be funny and put funny names, that's fine. Of Call course. us anything but jerks. <laughs> but if we pick your name, then, you know, we'll sure, well, you're going to win something. So you can put some here. We'll copy them down. You can put some in the comments. And we, um, I might do some posts or something so you guys can do it. If you want to do it privately, then flatcappiper at AOL.com. I'll write it in here. Send it to me. Flat cap piper at aol.com we would like a name for our lives so we can just if call it something a Wednesday call it, yeah it's something something kind of catchy maybe all right so guys this is the time it's been an hour and a half and we don't like to run into other people's lives so nashville mm -hmm. mafia is, should be on i think willie's by himself today Oh. Yeah, no Night Piper, no John, just Willie. Um, but uh, just weary, just weary. <laughs> <laughs> so we will, um, we will see you next Wednesday. For now, we're gonna keep it at seven p.m. live, and we will see you Monday at six p.m. for popping the tin. And we will be reviewing. What are we reviewing? I have no idea. <laughs> uh, quiet nights. Oh, I remember it was quiet nights. We'll be reviewing quiet nights. That's what's coming up. I didn't Monday. write that down. <laughs> also, hey, so I have a little bit of memory left. Yeah. Thank you so much for tuning and spending this time with us. Sorry about the uh, the live. We the, got a call and the thing just backed yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> but it was mommy, so we cannot be upset. I know. <laughs> it's I'm important. Mom. So uh, thank you so much. As we will see you next Monday at 6 p.m. 6 p.m. Yeah. And then on Wednesday at 7 p.m. Prayers with the people yes. uh, that are affected with the hurricane. And thank you again for, for being with us. Have everybody a good night and a good rest of the week. Ohio, stay good luck tomorrow. And we might see you Saturday morning, maybe. Uh, no, actually not this Saturday. We're going to a game. So we won't see you this Saturday. Maybe yeah. the next Saturday. Have Bye a nice guys. weekend. We'll see you soon. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Stay lit. I'm going to go here and turn it off so you run. can say hi. Run, 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 run. <laughs> oh. Got it?